हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय यूजिंग फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड इज़ द मोस्ट सिंपलेस्ट और इजीएस्ट मेथड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल इन द गिवन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन फॉर डूइंग दैट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द कोफिशेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट टर्म ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो आई हैव द कोफिशेंट टू एंड थ्री ओवर हेयर सो आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई this two and three which result as six now what we have to do with this six we have to find the factors of this six so the factors are two into three times result as six similarly one into six times result as six now what we have to do with these factors we have to add or subtract the factors but why we are subtracting or adding the factors to get middle term what middle term middle term is this one because we were multiplying the coefficient of first and last term so the remaining term will be the middle term of the quadratic equation we will see that over here we have factors 2 and 3 if we will add them will result 5 similarly if we subtract 1 and 6 will result also 5 it doesn't matter either it's plus 5 or minus 5 we will sort it out so we can see that whatever we have the coefficient of first and last term we have to multiply them then we have to find the factors and we and we find the factors we have to add or subtract them to get the middle term as we have the factors 1 and 6 so in place of this 5 we have to write these two factors so how can we write we will write 2x square x because we have 1 so along with the variable we cannot write coefficient as 1 the other factor is 6 so we will write 6x then minus 3 equals to 0 now this 5 is having the negative sign in both of them 6 is the greater number so we have to place the negative sign along with that now what sign will come with this one either the plus or minus to see what function we want we want subtraction because when we subtract 1 from the 6 so we will get 1 so if i will apply a minus sign over here so that will be minus and minus plus and that will result as 7 minus 7 so we have to put the plus sign with that so it will be plus minus and minus and result as minus 5 now we have to take common of first two and the last two terms so the common from first two terms are x when we take x as common from x square so it will be 2x and we will take x as common so it will remain 1 both terms are negative so we can take minus sign as common and both are the multiples of 3 so we will take 3 as common 6 comes to 2 time in the table of 3 so we will write 2 and x along with that we will take minus sign as common so it will remain as plus and 3 comes at one time numbers which we will take common will write in one bracket and as the both brackets are same that should be must that both brackets should be same each variable their powers their coefficient and their signs or each and everything inside the bracket will be exactly same or else you were taking the wrong common or you can say that uh, you were doing some mistake in taking the factors or applying the sign so we have 2x plus 1 equals to 0 both brackets are multiplied to each other and equate to 0 so we have to separate them x minus 3 equals to 0 on other hand 2x plus 1 equals to 0 now over here 0 this minus 3 move to that side so it will be 
add it x equals to 3 we have one value of x as the equation is quadratic equation so we will get two values of x so for the other one 2x is equals to 0 this one moves to that side so it will be minus 1 2 is multiplying by x so when we move it to another hand of the equation so it will be minus divided by 1 over here it will be multiply and when it goes to another hand it will be divide so the values of x are 3 and minus 1 upon 2 these two are the values of x hope you like the video please subscribe me to support me and like this video take care bye bye